Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. All of our friends and relatives know we love hot peppers and spicy food. As you might guess, we're often gifted with hot sauces, salsas, snacks, candy, basically anything edible that's labeled as hot and spicy. We received this package several weeks ago as a gift from our dear friend Maureen. She found it at an Asian grocery and really thought it was something we should try. At first, we had no idea what this product actually was. Because it's labeled sour pickled tea, we thought it was some sort of beverage. And frankly, it didn't sound all that appetizing. So we put it on the shelf for further investigation and possible future consumption. One day recently, I picked up the package and actually read the ingredients, which include garlic, sesame, peanuts, three kinds of peas, salt, lemon, peanut, and sunflower oil, fresh chili, and MSG. That's when I realized this wasn't tea for drinking. I looked up the product on Amazon and discovered it's actually a kit for making lapet tok, or tea leaf salad, the national dish of Myanmar. Please excuse what I'm sure was a horrendous pronunciation. You add your own fresh ingredients to the pickled tea leaves and crunchy bits in the package. We've read various recipes and watched an amazing video from Mark Wiens. He orders up a plate of lapet tok from a street vendor in Yangon, Myanmar, and you can watch the salad being prepared. However, we're certainly not making the claim that we know anything about how to prepare authentic Burmese food. So let's open up this package and see what's inside, and then we'll make our version of La Pet Tok. Let's get started. All right, let's see what's inside. This is exciting. Who knows what's in here? Ah. Oh. Okay, not as easy as I thought it was. Okay, two flaps. And there's a bag of some sort in here. Let's open this up. Um, you know, I was hoping maybe there would be some instructions in here, but I don't see anything like that so far at least. If we were hoping for uh, some kind of instructions, it's obvious that uh, nothing like that is in the package. This is Definitely a product that is made for people who know what they're buying and already know how to prepare it. So this seems like this is all of our crunchy bits and chilies and all that stuff that was mentioned on the package. And this package contains the uh, fermented uh, tea leaves. That's it. Every La Pet Toke recipe we could find on the web recommends draining and rinsing the tea leaves, then soaking them for at least a couple of hours. This is supposed to get rid of any bitter taste. First thing we discovered was the double bagging. Maybe they experienced problems with the package leaking during shipment or storage. We've cut it open and now we'll dump the contents into a colander. But wait, it's actually triple bagged. Okay, finally made it through the multiple layers of nearly indestructible packaging and out come the fermented leaves. I wouldn't guess this was tea if I didn't already know. Here's what it looks like up close. Now we'll rinse them with water and pick out some of the larger stems as recommended by some of our sources. We ate some of these stems to get a preview of the taste. We were pleased with their spicy tangy flavor laced with chili. We'll place them in a container, add water, and put them in the fridge to soak overnight. 24 hours later, and now we're actually going to create the salad. We'll massage the tea leaves again to squeeze out all the water. Now we'll prepare all the other ingredients. No two sources we found exactly agree, but all the ingredients we're using appeared in multiple recipes. Time for slicing and dicing, starting with scallions and onions. Next, cabbage. Some recipes call for lettuce instead. Time for tomatoes. Ginger and garlic will provide a little zing. We'll add some salt, then mash them good with a mortar and pestle until most of the pieces are very small. Then we'll squeeze our limes into the pestle so we can extract all the gingery and garlicky goodness.
Gotta add some fresh peppers to augment the chilies that were fermented with the tea leaves. We're making this to hit a heat level that everyone can enjoy, but feel free to bump up the Scovilles. I certainly would if I was making this just for myself. Our final fresh ingredient is cilantro. Time to dump out the crunchy bits. These were also multi-bagged. Finally, we have all the ingredients ready and can actually assemble the salad. It was a lot of work getting to this point, so we're hoping it will taste amazing. Even though a great deal of time was spent in preparation, the finished salad was built and plated very quickly. Still, we'll speed up the action a little. The amount of each ingredient is just our best guess. We'll mix it up thoroughly and then onto the plate. Will it be as delicious as it looks? Only one way to find out. Okay, time for tasting. I just want to repeat that we're not claiming this is an authentic Burmese tea leaf salad. Instead, this is what happens when you get an unfamiliar food item as a gift, research how to prepare it, then give it your best shot. We found several similar but not identical recipes on the web, and this is the composite approach we came up with. In the video that we saw where this salad was prepared as street food, they used a spoon, so that's what I'm going to use. All right, here we go. Make sure we get some of those tea leaves in there. This is really, really excellent, I'd have to say. The combination of the, the crunchy bits, the peanuts and peas and stuff mixed with garlic, uh, actual fresh chilies, and the chilies that have been marinated into the tea leaves and the package, um, the onions, tomatoes, it's just fantastic. Mm, scallions. Authentic or not, this is a delicious salad. Now, if you come across a package like this at your local grocery, you'll know what it is. If you'd like to purchase it from Amazon, we're including a link in the video description. Again, we're not experts on Burmese food and we're anxious to learn more, so please offer us your suggestions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications as we post new episodes. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily updates on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob. Control. Take <gasps> Cut.